So, highlights then. Chet Johnson's Napa Auto Parts Nissan rolled out looking resplendent. A few cars had to be fixed up after that opening practice earlier today, including Jason Gomesol's car and uh, Matt Charter. It started in the fence early on as he tried to get around James Masterson down there at the bottom of the hill. And we saw more and more of it throughout the session. Mason Kelly whacked the wall, turn 12. And it was only really about two or three laps into the session. So that was his session done early on. We never saw that car get back out on track. He lost a good 33 minutes sitting there watching the rest of the field. Ryan Gilroy, Newcastle boy in the Bowers Heavy Haulage. Commodore sliding his way out and just rubbing the tyre wall at the exit of Turn 1. Did a nice job getting that car stopped and not doing too much harm and damage to that beautiful yellow and blue livery. So we started to build up towards the end of the session. Even some drivers going for fresher tyres. We saw this at Turn 12. Two cars getting together, Chris Merton and Ellie Morrow on this occasion. Both those cars were able to get pointed in the right direction and continue, but the session came to an abrupt end. Charter, Johnson, Love, and then eventually Callum Walker just missing out on joining the uh, fracas down there at turn nine. And that would bring out the red flag and ultimately an untimely end of the session, topped by Zach Best. And we never really got the form guide, did we? We never really saw the qualifying simulations. So when we roll out into Armour qualifying tomorrow, it really is anyone's guess as to who is going to be quickest in both Super 3 and Super 2.